Hello everyone. We are now at the uh, Link uh, uh, 2022 after two years of uh, pandemic and we are very happy to be here all together uh, again. We just finished now the symposium of Serenovus about uh, tough plots, which was very, very interesting and about the Nimbus device. And uh, I shared the um, uh, symposium with Pascual who is here and uh, we know that the advances of the in-stroke treatment has uh, got a lot a lot much much better now and a lot of innovations but there's still some failure of uh, uh, recanalizing the arteries so you presented um, today um, the challenges that we have if you can tell me more about it please yes um, i think we've come a long way and we have made a very successful way we are very successful with uh, treating stroke patients with large vessel occlusions uh, with a huge treatment effect but but nevertheless, there are still uh, some patients we fail. We're not able to recanalize. And uh, usually, if you analyze and look at your failures, you can learn a lot. So our, our intention at the time was to look at our failures and to try to understand them better. And of course, then to adapt uh, our techniques in terms of access, but also in terms of how, how we use certain devices or adjunctive techniques. And uh, what, what do you think the reason of the failed recanalization of the problem with the tough clots in general? So, so in general, for the, the failed cases, I think the, 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 the problems are manifold. So there are different features you have to take into account, like the occlusion pattern or um, whether it's anterior or posterior circulation. Um, of course, the anatomy is very important, extracranial access anatomy, but also intracranial anatomy and also stroke ideology. And last but, but, but not least, of course, it's also the clot that plays an important role. We know that there are certain clot compositions that are easier to extract with certain techniques than, than, than with others and uh, the other way around. Great. And why do you think that the Nimbus works well with tough clots? In what way it is different than other stent retrievers that we have already? So the design is, is a little bit uh, different, so it's not a, a conventional uh, stent design. It, it has like two parts. The distal part is more like a stent. It has a barrel shape to, 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 have a, to, to contain the device distally. And the proximal part is, is smaller and is a spiral-like spiral uh, part of the device. And the aim is, uh, by having this kind of gap in size, to facilitate the pinning or uh, pinching of the clot between the device and the microcatheter, which is a technique we, we already know and, and used for many, many years. But uh, the difference is now that we have a device that tries uh, to, uh, to further um, uh, improve uh, this, this mechanic, mechanism of action. And we currently use it in, 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 in the situations as a, where we have not achieved anything, where, where we really fail, so the true thrombectomy failures, and we have quite good results in this regard. I guess we have a, a very good device for uh, tough clots, but the question remains al always how to differentiate the clots, the type of clots, before choosing the, um, the device. And I guess, uh, as we discussed today during the symposium, we, we had some patient-related uh, uh, characteristics which can influence or can guide us to, to predict which type of clot we are dealing with. There are also some uh, imaging uh, that can help us uh, uh, doing this. And, and at the same time, it's, it's the practice in the angio suite, how you feel the clot and how you see um, the resistance when you're going through the clot and everything. And I guess this is a very, very important point to choose the right device, which will deal with the uh, tough clots. And uh, uh, I guess more research would be very interesting on, on, on defining the, the clot type before getting into um, the angio suite. I, I absolutely agree and, and I know you're also using uh, the Nimbus, so do you have any, any other indications or also, do you also use it as a first pass device for example? We only use it at the moment as kind of a rescue device, so what is your opinion on that? I, I think it's a, it's a very interesting point because when I started using the Nimbus at the beginning I was using it as a rescue device, but uh, uh, it, it's a well designed uh, stent retriever and if, if I have a doubt or I can predict for a, a specific specific patient that the clot is a, a tough one, so I use it as a first uh, uh, line of treatment and, and I had really uh, interesting results that I even showed them today uh, during the symposium with a Tiki uh, 3 from uh, after the first pass. So yeah, I guess the, it works well when we think that the clot will be a tough one.
thank you so much. It was a pleasure discussing with you in the symposium and, uh, and with the link today. Thank you too. Also a pleasure from my side.